god, Kimmy, your skin looks amazing. Hello and welcome to this week's video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kimmy. I'm a foreigner, expat, immigrant, whatever you want to call me, living in Seoul, South Korea, and I like to talk about it on the internet. In today's video, I'm actually gonna share with you some of my favorite secret products for covering rosacea and dealing with redness. It may not look like it right now, but I do actually suffer from rosacea and because my skin is highly sensitized, I deal with a lot of redness on a regular basis. That's why I was so excited to find the number two goodbye redness derma tone up from Numbazin. I tried their number three tone up first, which is like one of my absolute favorite products now. You can watch that video here. I did like a five minute makeup look with it. This is even better for the days that I really have to deal with redness and rosacea and flare ups. The reason why I love the number two Goodbye Redness Derma Tone Up SPF 50 Plus is actually because it does so much more than cover the redness. Of course, it does a fantastic job at that. The green really does cancel out the red, but even more so, it has SPF, which is really important, and it's chock full of a bunch of derma ingredients that have soothing properties. So I know no matter how long I wear this for or what the condition of my skin is underneath, I'm gonna come out with non-irritated skin as opposed to making my flare up even worse. I was actually pretty confident I was gonna like the numbers and stuff before I even tried it. If you have ever been here, then you would know what Olive Young is, but if you don't know, Olive Young is basically like the Korean Sephora. There's so many all over the place. There's three in my neighborhood and they carry like almost every line of skincare and K-beauty that you could want. That's why it's so impressive that Numbazin actually ranked number one and got the top prize in the total skincare category at all of Young. Like that's actually wild if you think about how many products they carry in those stores. So it's a huge vote of confidence in the entire brand. Another big vote of confidence is that tone-up creams, particularly Numbazins, are trending in Korea and Japan like crazy right now. So I knew I had to give them a try and I'm so happy that I did. Let me rewind because if you're not familiar with the Tone Up, it's basically like a tinted moisturizer or a BB CC cream, but it does so much more than that. And Numbazins are incredible because they also have SPF. So it's long lasting, it gives you good coverage, evens out your skin tone, and it gives you sun protection, which is just amazing. I'm gonna show you a couple of other products that I use along with the Tone Ups, and the key ingredient in those products from my perspective is 100% the fermented ingredient. One of the products I'm gonna show you literally has 50 of them, and I am convinced that that's what's changed my skin. Before we jump into today's products, I will just let you know that everything I'm going to share is available on Amazon. Um, Numbazin has a whole storefront there, so you can try these or anything else that tickles your fancy. <laughs> Anyways, let's just get into it. The first product I have to recommend is actually the Tone Up. So it is the number two Goodbye Redness Derma Tone Up SPF 50 Plus from Numbazin. And what it does is right there in the title, it covers redness. And this is the best product I've found by far to color correct the redness that I get from skin irritation or uh, rosacea. So obviously I'm currently wearing the Tone Up because I wanna look good in the video, but I also don't wanna skimp on showing you guys the actual results and the difference before and after. So I'm gonna leave it on this half of my face and I'm gonna take it off this side, so. So honestly, today is not even that bad of a redness day. Like I've been known to have, you know, significantly more red flare ups, but even just today, look at how well the tone up has done to cover that redness and to color correct and cancel it. Like it's actually incredible. It gives me a nice neutral base to build my makeup on top of. I'm gonna put it back on now. I only need a very little bit because I'm only trying to cover and cancel this part right here. This one in particular is a cream base that pumps out. Sometimes you can find them in cushions as well, but I prefer this style. And what it does is it comes out as green. <laughs> Don't be afraid. That is to color correct the redness. And then it actually changes color to a beige that helps to even out your skin tone and cover blemishes. And all the time it's doing that is also non-irritating and super soothing because of those derma ingredients. Like I said, it comes out green, but don't freak out. It is literally the most incredible thing. The consistency is cream, so it's like a lotion or a moisturizer. It's super smooth and blendable, which is awesome. You'll see that as the product starts to warm up to my skin, it's changing color and starting to become more of a beige to better suit my skin tone, because obviously I'm not green. <laughs> 
And the reason why this is happening is because the action of rubbing the product in with my fingertips pops the color capsules and initiates the color change. The green undertone is important to canceling out the red because they're opposites on the color wheel. And the final result is high coverage color correction without a cakey and like a dry feeling. So one of the most important things when you're applying this product is not to overdo it. A little goes a long way. So just one pump will give you basically the perfect amount to cover your entire face. It's about a pearl size there. And in the event you feel like you need more, what's great is that the product is buildable. So I recommend starting with this much, seeing where that gets you. And if you still feel like there's a couple of areas that you want to top up with more product, you can do that. So just a little bit more, sometimes across my cheeks where obviously I'm redder, I'll do a second layer. But today I only have one layer on. Let me also just say for those days that I don't feel like doing a full face, I will throw on this tone up just by itself because it works as an independent product as well. Helps me just cover that redness super quickly and be out the door. Okay, next up is another one of my like holy grails. I literally talk about this all the time and I'm almost out of it. I love this toner so much. It's the number three super glowing essence toner from Numbazin and the reason why I talk about it so much is literally within like a week and a half of using it, I was out in Hongdae meeting up with a friend who I hadn't seen in about a month and the first thing she said to me was, oh my god, Camille, your skin looks amazing and I was like, that is the biggest vote of confidence in a product ever because this was the only thing I had changed. I'm literally not the only person that loves this either. It is the number one selling toner at Olive Young, which again is wild when you consider how many toners they actually sell at Olive Young. I don't think I will ever use another toner. I am converted to this for life. Whenever I am trying to go for that like glass skin, clean girl makeup look, I always pair the two of these together because they deliver that glowy, like flawless skin finish so well when you pair them up. The glowing, radiant skin that this product actually delivers is proven in clinical tests as well. So when people use the number three toner for two weeks, they saw a 52.89% increase in skin radiance, which is wild because any other product that was tested and tried to show an improvement in skin radiance or like glowing skin uh, usually only sees like 10% of an improved skin condition. And this one delivered 52.89% more radiance not in the same league. In here are over 50 fermented ingredients, but the one I wanna point out to you that I think has the biggest impact is bifida. So if you're not familiar with what bifida is, it's something that you'll usually find in like those luxe, super expensive skincare lines, but Numbazin has it in here at a much more affordable price point. If you're familiar with the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum, they both have bifida as a key ingredient. Before we move on, just a quick note on the texture. It's not like your typical watery toner. So it has more of an essence-like texture. So it really feels like all of the ingredients are being deeply absorbed into my skin. Sometimes with a more watery toner, I feel like I'm losing all of it to the cotton round or it's just evaporating off the surface of my skin, but not with this. Also, speaking of cotton rounds, if I'm feeling like super bougie or I've had a really long day, I'll take some cotton pads and actually soak them in this toner and then use them as a face mask. So I usually put like one here and then one on each cheek and I just kind of soak in this super glowing essence as a DIY face mask. So the last product I want to share with you today is actually a serum. It's the number three skin softening serum from Numbazin. And if you don't have serums in your skincare routine, I would definitely recommend them. They are great for targeting like specific concerns. But this one is all about skin softening and reducing the appearance of pores. So sometimes with my rosacea, my skin gets really dry and it can affect the texture of my skin, which makes it difficult, especially to apply makeup. So this does an incredible job of reducing bumps and softening the uh, texture on my skin while also minimizing the appearance of my pores, which is just an added bonus. The number three serum actually uses the same ingredient bifida that's in the toner and in the Estee Lauder night cream. And then it also has something in it called Galactomyces, which you can find in other expensive skincare too. If you're familiar with the SK2 uh, Pitera Essence, it has the same Galactomyces that are in the number three serum. Honestly, sometimes I feel like I'm stealing when I use numbers and stuff because the ingredient to price ratio is so wild and the products are really affordable. 
the reason why Numbazin is able to do that is because they don't invest in like flashy packaging or spend a lot of money on big advertising campaigns they're more invested about delivering quality skincare with incredible ingredients because they know that the product will speak for itself and it really does Coming back at you with more clinical data, people who used this product for two weeks in clinical tests saw an 11.39% improvement in skin roughness and a 30.9% uh, reduction in pore visibility, which like, same. <laughs> I don't know the exact percentages, but like for sure, uh, my skin became a lot more smoother and more supple and particularly across my nose and my upper cheek area, I saw a reduction in the visibility of my pores. Another thing I wanna point out about this is that I love the texture. It's more viscous, so sometimes serums can make your skin feel really sticky or like you have like a layer of film, but this is not the case. Because it has this viscous texture, it absorbs into the skin really deeply and I know I'm getting the full benefits in my skin as opposed to leaving it sitting on top. So there you have it, my top three products for combating and covering redness and rosacea. If you're interested in trying any of these products, you can head over to Amazon by the links in my description box below. I've included all of my faves down there, so definitely grab yourself some and come back here and let me know what you got. I'd be really curious to hear what's in your shopping cart and what you think of the products. If you're interested in keeping up with me on the daily, then be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. But until next week, that's everything I have for you, so bye.